It's time for oil change again, again and again and again. Even though um, I'm supposed to do an oil change like uh, 10,000 km, but most of the time I do it earlier, like six, 7,000, I will get it changed. So I prefer my car to have fresh oil, fresh, fresh, fresh oil, fresh, fresh. So I'm at here at yeah, Mechatronic. They are a Shell Helix Auto Pro workshop. So what that means is that this shop has the full range of Shell Helix products. So here you can see my car is up on the hoist. I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff in front first before the oil change. I'm gonna show you. Hey guys, the first thing that I wanted to share with you today is something rather awesome, okay? It's, it's really awesome, trust me on that. Now, um, Shell, they have this new program called Share. So how this works is this. You service your car three times and the fourth service, they will give these oils to you for free. Whether you are using a 5W40 or 0W30 or is uh, basically if it is under the Shell Helix Ultra range then you are eligible for it. So what do you do here exactly? I, I'm servicing my car today, right? So all I need to do is to fill, fill this up. Um, Shell.com.my slash share, S-H-A-R-E. So I don't need to fill up all these manual forms anymore. All I need to do is to fill it up through the web app. Just key it in, put in the product code, put in the shop code, done. For this share, I tell you, it's really amazing. Why? First oil change, I pay myself. I put in the code. Second oil change, I sub I pay for pay for it myself. Put in the codes. Third one, I pay for myself. I put in the codes. I mean, you need to service your car anyway, right? But the fourth one, the fourth time, they're gonna give it to me for free. I only need to pay for the oil filter, which is like seventy ringgit and the labor which is maybe another 80 ringgit that's it that's about it they're gonna give this to me in my fourth service so do register it you know how much these boys cost 338 ringgit so what that means is by the fourth service i would have gotten this pair of shoe for free Yes, 338 times 2 is 676 ringgit. They're going to give it to me. So register it today. Um, yeah, you just change your oil at a participating outlet and key in those stuff. So you only need to spend like 2 minutes. And there you have it. Alright. Now the first thing that they're going to do now to open up this. So that's where the air filter is. And normally you, you will change it when you change your oil. Okay. And then uh, this, this one will be the oil filter and after that, they're going to open that cap where my finger is pointing just to release the pressure so that later on we're going to hoist the car up and release the engine oil. So you need all the uh, proper tools for all this. And that's all the dirty up stops that goes in. So that's how a new one looks like. It's roughly the same feeling that you will get uh, when your air, when your room air conditioner gets clogged up, you know, and then you took off the filter and then you clean it with water and all that, and then you leave it back there, and then your air conditioning breathes way better. So that's how it feels like. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Now that's the tool they use to remove the oil filter. Yeah, that's how it looks like. These are all the worn oil. That's how it looks like in there. Yeah. So we're gonna give it some fresh Shell Helix Ultra. That's how it looks like. That's the old one. This is the new one. That's the oil filter. So now he's uh, replacing the O-ring on the housing. So we need to put fresh ones just in case the old ones are all worn and then uh, you don't want any leakages to happen here. And then we can drop in the new filter. There it goes. And the last bit will be securing it back with a tool. So now we're gonna jack it up and release the oil, the old ones. I'm always rather petrified to stand under a car. 
but it's always nice to look at your car's undercarriage. Look at how aerodynamic it is. So now we need to open this cover, this small little one with the open and close sign. The moment. Ooh, look at it. It's important to properly drain the old oil out. Now, and while we're waiting for the oil, we can do some, you know, brake pad checking just to see everything is all right. So he told me the rear brake pads uh, are in need of change now. Now you can see, look at the brake pads. So we, got, we need to get it changed. So it's important to do preventive maintenance. Now, now they're checking the bushings, all right? So these are all right. If, if they're worn, there will be some oil leakages here. That means it will be making noise, karak, 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 and all that that we don't really like. So we're doing other checks just to make sure everything is alright while we're waiting for the oil to drain out. So now we can see we're letting it drain out the very last bits. Now, so all this oil that are collected, it's going to be stored inside a drum at the back and then uh, there will be someone who recycles this and turn it into burning material. Yeah, at least it's not, not like the old days where they pour it down the drain, right? So now for the golden moment. Oh, look at that. Look at that clean new oil. So my car should take 6.5 liters. So we have to pour and stop a while just to check on the gauge. So you can see the first bottle uh, we fill up all four liters and the second one we're left with one and a half precisely half so that makes up 6.5. We're checking the coolant and mine is lower than minimum so need to get it top up. So they say that if it is lower than minimum, they will need to do a verification just to see if it is leaking. So this this actually, this entire process, right, you think about it, right? You know, there are those out there who say they can do an oil change for five minutes. That's utter bullshit. Because when you're doing your oil change, you need to properly drain them. You need to check other things. It is impossible and it is very, very bad to even do an oil change for just within five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, these are original from BMW. Very important. So the next thing we're going to open up this to check the uh, steering oil level and for that we need to start the car and let the car run for a bit and then only we can check if it is at the correct um, level. Do the reset thing just to tell the car that it has been serviced and we're going to put in the stuffs. So it's just one step without pressing the brakes and then we press the speedo reset button three times and then the options should come out. Look at that. So now it come out this. Whether it's brake pad, rear brake pad, engine oil. Yep. So when we are at the one that we wanted, he will do a long press. Long press now to is asking perform reset. Okay, it's re resetting in progress as you can see. Done. Now look at this one. It says that the rear brake pads can last for another 2700 km. But we need to change it now because uh, from now until the next oil change is supposed to be 10,000 km. So we got to just change it even though I have 2700 km of life or money left in my brake pads. But let's do preventive maintenance, alright? 